Hi, I'm Cindy from BeDownswear.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to sew a circle skirt. It's a great thing if you're making a 50s skirt, if you're making any type of an Irish skirt, long skirt for yourself. It's a really simple technique and fun to do. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to sew the band part. Um, see how it has a seam in the back? So let's set this right over here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a band that we cut. And... I'm going to fold it in half, put it together. Um, if you'd like, you could place some pins along there. Make sure and pull them out if your machine can't sew over the needles. And so we're going to go ahead and put that together. I'm going to go ahead. I only have a quarter inch seam allowance, so I'm going to sew on that. I'm going to go ahead and let's sew it. I'm going to back up. You want to put a slight tug on it just so that it doesn't uh, snap. If you have a, zig or a stretch stitch, that's a good time to do this. An overlock machine is even better. So you see how we've sewn that? I used a bright color thread so you could see a little bit better. You'll want to tug on it, make sure it doesn't snap. If it does, go over any area where it snapped. Um, and I would suggest if you're using a stretch fabric, go ahead and put it on zigzag and then just sew a second security stitch right in there because there's nothing worse than that coming apart. And then there you go, you can see the zigzag. Now, go ahead and cut those threads off. You're gonna take this and you're gonna fold it in half. Make sure that the seams are going the same direction. Now it's a good idea to pin this because otherwise, so if you pin it and it's all even, you can even take a stitch real quick on this line to hold them together. But if you get it uneven, what you're gonna end up with is that type of a situation on the waistband. You wanna make sure it stays nice and flat. So I always put a pin, fold it in half, put a pin on both ends. And then I'm going to take those two pins, those two spots, the center back seam in the very front, and then put these pieces together and put a pin there. This way it'll put a pin in all four corners so you'll know exactly how to sew this on to the skirt. And same here. Put it right there. Now what you'll want to do is double check it. Make sure that when it lays down, it's laying flat. This seems to be a little funky here. So there we go. I'm just going to take that pin out. Put it right back in where I had it. Okay, so the next step is to, let's get this a little further out of the way. You wanna work from the inside out. So I'm gonna flip this around. So this is the inside of the fabric. This is the outside. The way I find it the easiest is I'm gonna put a pin in one side, directly in half, Put a pin in this side. Now by putting those two pins together, we'll get us four corners that are exactly even distance without a lot of measuring. And then over here. Now in a circle skirt, there is no back seam, but if you're using non-stretchy fabric, you'll wanna make sure that the back seams are lined up. And then you'll go ahead and put that there. Put the pin through all four spots. I'm going to put this pin here, the next corner. And then see how it's a little bigger on the outside? I'm using stretch fabric, so I'll be able to pull it taut as I go around. And it makes it a lot easier to line up this way. Put this pin in here. Pull that spare one out. and then do the same with this last one. The beauty of this particular circle skirt pattern is there is no back seam in the skirt itself, just in the back of the waistband. So it makes it really easy uh, not to make any mistakes there. Oh, let's go ahead and shut this drawer. And then we're gonna start at the very back. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on the straight stitch and do the same type of thing. Let's go a much longer stitch though, make it fast. And then you're just gonna go ahead and pull it taunt don't pull one tighter than the other if it's stretchy. You just want it to stay together so those lines line up and just sew all the way around, creating a line like that. 
when you flip it around, that's the back side and that's the front. This is the look that you're going to get. Thank you for watching our video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure and click here to subscribe because we're going to have some amazing DIY videos coming out. And if you want to get our free complete dance costume DIY guide, click right here or go to bedancewearcom slash DIY guide. And lastly, if you have any questions or ideas for future videos, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks again for watching our video. And remember, be original, be colorful, bedancewear.com.